Hello, my name is Loren Spear. Um, I have a music project called Loren, which is my solo project, and I also have a band called Mabel. Um, and we're based out of Montreal, Canada, but I grew up on the west coast of Canada. Um, I'm very excited to be doing this video. I love Wide Rainbow so much. I think you guys are so cool, and I've watched a lot of your videos over the years, and they've just been so inspiring to me. Um, it's, I think it's so cool to see artists share their practices and so I'm excited to share mine today. Um, I'm a songwriter. I write all my own songs for my solo project um, and I do it all in my room, which I'm in right now, usually on my bed, which I'm sitting on with my guitar here. Um, so it's a very solitary practice. Um, I've been talking to many other fellow musicians over the years about their own songwriting practice and it's so interesting because everyone's is so so different and um, I think that's what's so cool about music is there's no one way to do it and nothing is wrong and everything is right and um, the best thing to do is experiment and 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 kind of follow whatever feels right to you um, what feels right to me in songwriting um, is storytelling so I listened to a lot of folk and bluegrass and country music growing up um, and I still listen to it but that uh, those genres um, I feel like lend themselves very well to to creating a narrative and, um, and creating like little worlds and songs, which I feel like I gravitate towards and I try and emulate in my own songwriting. Um, so growing up, I played a lot of bluegrass music, as I said, um, which follows a pretty basic structure. So you hear a lot of these chords without the capo, that's G, C, D. So, so many songs. Just one example, but there's so many songs that kind of fit that very simple formula um, of, of usually going verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, first chorus. So um, because I know so many songs um, that follow that formula, I, I have written songs um, that, that try and mirror that. Um, for me, I think in the beginning of writing songs, it was helpful for me to have a formula um, to reference because as I said, songs don't have to follow any formula. You can you can sing just verses for as long as you want, or you can start with a chorus, and there can be pre-choruses. There's just so many ways to build a song. Um, but because of that, I feel like personally that can be a bit overwhelming. Um, so it was nice for me um, to have a jumping off point. Um, to start my own songwriting practice. So a lot of my songs, I would say, start with a verse and then go to a chorus, go back to a verse and then go to a chorus and then bridge. The bridge is my favorite part of a song. And I, I, I think most of my songs have bridges. So what I'm gonna do is break down a song that I wrote um, called May Hard Times Pass Us By and show you um, how I utilize the bridge and also just show you um, how I wrote the verses and the chorus, etc. So if I um, had a melody brain, I would have just started with the tune. So the tune goes do 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 do
have a lot of friends that always start with the melody and that that's their starting point but I love um I love words and I love metaphors and I love um just building a song around a feeling and uh, a complete story so for this um I wrote the song um for someone when we were going through a hard time together uh, so it's called May Hard Times Pass Us By and um, it's a love song and uh, so that was kind of at the center of my mind when thinking about what I wanted to say here so the verse goes I've known a lot of love and I've had some company but now I know you're loathing and where I'm supposed to be I took to you just like an arrow on a string Well, I should have known one day you'd come for me So you'll notice that there's a lot of rhyming going on There's um, one line that says, I took to you just like the arrow I took to you just like an arrow on the string so that's like a reference to Cupid's arrow um, and now it goes into the chorus so I was using these two chords now I'm gonna go up here May hard times pass us by May hard times us by. So that is the chorus, which you'll hear again. Very simple. And then it goes back into the verse. There'll come a time when I am many miles away. But no, I'll follow you this evening, follows day. And when the sky it breaks, I'll raise my face to rain And I'll love you in the sunlight or the shade So that sounds uh, a lot like the first verse um, But it's, it's talking about being apart from one another And um, again, more metaphor I'll follow you as evening follows day. I think I'm, that metaphor is such a, a, a beautiful thing to use in songwriting because sometimes it's hard to explain feelings by just saying them and it makes more sense to draw from different things in the world and make parallels between them. Um, Anyway, back to the chorus. May hard times pass us by. May hard times pass us by. Okay, here comes the bridge. So completely different than everything else that's happened. And this is an opportunity to say something brand new too, because. It's, it'll only happen once. Bridge is my favorite part. So here it comes. When the world is gray and our bodies old, when the forger's fire grows ash and cold, when the years drag on and yet pass by, be there. Another verse. If there's a day where winter comes without a spring, or when the birds above go silent with no singing, I'll stick with you just like the mule upon the wing, and we'll weather what the tides of life may bring. Now our final chorus. May hard times pass us by. May hard times pass 
us by May hard times Pass us by May hard times Pass us by So at the end there I just looped the chorus. Um, so f for me this song is, is a bunch of promises being made or hopes for the future and um, I th it was written during the pandemic where it was hard to know what the future was going to look like so I talk about um, uh, there's one verse, the last verse, where I say, If there's a day where winter comes without a spring, Or when the birds above go silent with no singing, I'll stick with you just like the mew upon the wing, And we'll weather what the tides of life may bring. Um, so that is, for me, is talking about like the uncertainty of the future. And um, wanting to stay connected to this person no matter what happens. For this song, I think I started writing it from a very personal place and um, because of that it felt kind of counterintuitive to release it and share it with the world um, because it was just a message to a very specific person in my life. Um, but I think it can be really rewarding writing and then releasing music and sharing it with other people because um, then you can see if people connect to it and, and why they connect to it. Um, I think for a long time I wrote just for myself and without the intention of anyone ever hearing it and I still do that. Um, but I think it is really cool to think about how your music can relate to a listener and how to connect to an audience because once you connect with other people um, and they feel something for your music and they they hear something in your story that reminds them of their story it, it, it's really gratifying and really re rewarding I hope um, I hope this video was interesting to see just one of the many many ways in which a song can be written again for me I kind of I'm always writing, I'm always taking down ideas and writing down words and, and writing down song titles or points of view or a feeling that I want to articulate. I feel like I'm kind of constantly collecting um, things that will eventually turn into a song. But that is just my way of doing it and I think, I think even my way of of writing songs will pro progress and it, and it has progressed and I think collaborating with different people um, really opens your mind to that and and I I want to try start like starting a song by just thinking up a melody and and having that be my jumping off point so I think it's cool to just try things and see what comes of it and, and know that your practice is ever evolving and um, to challenge yourself by, by trying new things and, and knowing that there is always more to learn.